critics say that greenwashing has been occurring here and the UAE is seeking to influence these climate talks in favour of fossil fuel producers. Can you respond to that as well? I think what's also um, important to remember is that there are a lot of supporters of uh, the UAE as host. There are lots of supporters of Dot Sultan as a COP president. Uh, there's also, uh, if you uh, see many of the uh, messages that have come out from leaders, from climate negotiators, from people who are actually in the process who know Dot Sultan, all of them have been supporting us and this presidency. And uh, we, uh, we know very well that this will uh, be a very exciting moment. Uh, Dan, you know, climate change is a problem that we all face. We in the UAE face challenges from climate change just like many other countries. In fact, in many ways, we are one of those countries that will see the brunt of it uh, before others. But we're running towards that that uh, problem and trying to find solutions. And I think that that's what COP28 is about. COP28 is about what are the solutions that we can bring to the table today that are going to help us to solve the climate problem. And we can't do that without including industry. At the end of the day, the large emitters, the ones who are emitting uh, the carbon into the atmosphere, need to be at the table discussing with us how to solve this problem. And I think that what's really excited about COP28 is that for the first time we have those industry leaders coming to Dubai, coming to have that conversation with us. And that's something we should all get behind uh, because we've been doing this for a long time. I myself was climate change negotiator in Paris. Um, and we know that unfortunately we're not on track to achieve the goals and ambitions of Paris. And so we need to start to think differently about how we approach this problem. And I think that what's exciting about the UAE is that we as host are a country from the global south that is coming forward with real solutions about how to get back on track to achieving the ambitions of Paris. And I think that by, for the first time, we're going to be bringing private sector, NGOs, civil society, industry, bring everybody to the discussion in a very open and inclusive way and because we believe that having everybody at the table allows us to have the, co the conversation about the solutions that we need to deliver. So let's talk about that specifically then. How can problem sectors like big oil be part of the solution at COP28? Look, I think that we have to include industry because, as I said, the largest emitters need to be in the discussion with us. We can't have a conversation this exclusive. We need to have a conversation that's inclusive. And they are the ones who have the resources, the technology and the know-how to help us to address the emissions. And by the way, a lot of this makes economic sense because we need to see that transition. We need to see the energy transition happening. We need to see industry transforming itself. We need to have those leaders uh, present at the table discussing with us how to get there.